Hi guys, it's great to see you. So recently, you know I bought my Fanatec wheel and I did get these pedals with it too. So I'm just gonna give you a quick unboxing guys of these CSL Elite pedals and just to talk you through what's in the box as I go through it. So first and foremost, CSL Elite pedal quick start guide, some instructions in there and of course there's some fantastic Fanatec stickers. I'm sure I'll find a place for those to be stuck down onto. And then the next thing you come across is the base and then this is the wire that connects actually into the back of your steering wheel and as you can see they've got standard connectors do be careful of those clips because they will break very easily okay onto the main stand that the pedals mount to so this doesn't come already um, assembled you have to assemble it yourself but that's one of the beauties of it because it is adjustable you don't really get the feeling in this video watching it, but this is very, very robust, this stand. Um, metal construction, um, really nice finish on it as well. And I will be putting the bolts through it later on just to see how that all clamps together. But yes, looks very smart. These holes here are where you actually install the pedals on the back end, and that's a locating point for the pedals. So you can obviously adjust the pedals left or right, depending on your feet. And then the box in the middle underneath there, that's the box that you plug your wires in to connect your pedals. It's like a junction box and then that goes to the steering wheel itself. We've also then got this black rubber strip here that's in the bag. This rubber strip is gonna go over the holes where the pedals locate. So when you locate the pedals into the base, you then put the bolts through and this is gonna go over the top and I'll show you how you, that looks later on in the video. Okay, let's move some more packaging and then we've got the pedals. So as you can see, these pedals are quite substantial too, but just before we get to those, there's a couple of tools in there as well. We've got a very nice spanner there that will go in the tool kit after this. I think that's a 30 mil spanner. And we've also got a nice Allen key as well. So they're all nice and clean, ready to put your kit together, your Fanatec kit together. Let's just take a closer look at the pedals then. So this is the brake pedal I'm taking out here. So as you can see, normally on um, a lot of racing sim rigs, the pedals are actually part of the base, whereas these are completely separate. That means that you can adjust these, as I said earlier on, or add a clutch pedal. I've not got a clutch pedal at the moment, but this brake pedal here, you can see the foam behind the pedal there um, and the wire on the side um, is, is very, very substantial. And after using this for a little while, I'm really pleased on the look and feel of it. Again, just be careful of these plugs and the little clips on them because they do break off if you put them in um, slightly wrong. You can actually change that foam there. And I know there are lots of people that mod the Fanatec pedals, um, but really, really well made again. And um, really good grip as well. Really good grip when you're pressing them down, whether you're using boots or your socks or whatever you may use. The accelerator pedal here, if I can get it out, this is of a very similar construction to the brake pedal. Again, all modular, so you can move these around any way that you want to. Um, it's also got the same kind of connector on it as well, so do make sure that you plug it into the right um, hole for the connector and also keep an eye on that clip as well, because as I said, they do break easily. This, this is gonna bolt in in exactly the same way and locates in the same way. This accelerator is really well built, as we can see here. It's got a pretty significant spring on it and these are the locating pins here where it locates onto the base plate. It's got a really good action on it and you can tell by looking at it that it's gonna last for quite a long time. That's not gonna break easily. Okay, what else have we got in the box here? So we've got some nuts and bolts here. So you can see it's Allen key on one end and it's um, a spanner on the other end and they're nylock nuts as well. So they're not gonna come undone when you actually connect your pedals to the base unit. So that's what was in the box. Now that I have the steering wheel and pedals installed on the Aeon Sim rig, I just wanted to show you how I've done that. So don't think that you just get the steering wheel and just drop it onto your rig. Every rig is different. And as you can see, I've got a couple of bolts under there that I've actually had to drill through this base plate to install the Fanatec steering wheel, because obviously the steering wheel's got a lot of torque on it um, and moves around quite a lot. Here are the pedals. Now that's on a base unit, so there's two bolts at the bottom underneath that plate and um, you can't really quite see it, but there's two bolts at the top as well. Um, and that goes onto the base plate that attaches to the sim rig. So every sim rig is different, obviously, um, and you won't maybe need to drill some holes and adapt. And this is the rubber strip here that's covering where the bolts attach the pedals to the base plate. So I've actually had the wheel and the pedals installed now for about five weeks on my rig. And I had a G29 before that I'd be doing most of my gameplay on. And I just really wanted to talk at the end of the video what a difference it makes. The pedals are so much better. They have so much more fidelity about them. So 
the more games that I play, things like Dirt Rally 2, and I've just recently been playing RBR, um, pedal control is so important, and the new pedals really give me that, especially on the braking pedal. It is really very, very different to what the um, old G29 was. It also goes without saying that the feedback on the wheel is in a different class too. The G29 felt really notchy. When I first got it, I actually thought there was a problem with it, but that's how they all are. And don't get me wrong, they're pretty cool, but the Fanatec just takes it to a different level. It's very smooth. There's many different types of feedback that come through the wheel, and it feels more like driving a car actually on the road. So on a, on a car on the road, when you go around a corner, you feel the tires pushing back. You actually feel that on the wheel. The other thing I would just call out, and again, it's a bit of an obvious one, but the force feedback is much stronger. And also when you're rallying or you're driving quickly, letting the wheel spin through your hands and self-center, couldn't really do that on the G G29. You definitely can on this Fanatec. All in all, I'm very happy with the wheel and pedal set that I've got. I do want to add a clutch pedal. I'm going to be adding probably a Thrustmaster um, gear changer very soon, and I want a handbrake as well. So I will do some videos on that when I actually get there. Do remember in the UK and some other countries, you may well get a charge to pay when the delivery company is trying to deliver this. Fan of Tech have taken it off the top line price, but you will still have to pay that money, and that's just import taxes. All in all, guys, it's a great upgrade from a G29. What are you waiting for? See you soon.